Hey YouTube, it's me Shay the Natural coming to you today with another video. So before we get started, I'm just going to have us pause for the cause once again and hit that, that notification bell down there at the bottom so you can get more videos and more chances to win in my upcoming giveaway. So I'm going to be doing a quick weave wig today and I have my mannequin head that I'm going to be using today that I purchased off of Amazon and a few other items that we're going to be using today so let's get started All right, and here's the first bundle that we're going to be working with. This is the 20 inches. You always want to start with your longest bundle first. For the first part, you're going to measure where it would be ear to ear on you, on the mannequin. So you're just going to go ahead and measure that out. And you want to pull it nice and tight across to make sure that it's not any spacing or extra hair or extra track going over. So now you're just going to get your glue down because you don't want a big burst of it to come down at once because you're squeezing too hard. And you want to start with the pearl size and work it all the way to the, end of the other end of the track. Line it up ear to ear and I count to 60 seconds but you're only supposed to count to 30 but I just want to make sure that it's nice and adhered to the cap. We're going to continue this all with this first bundle of hair. Make sure you measure. Put that nice little pearl of glue from one end of the track to the other. And hold in place for 30 seconds. And another good tip is to make sure that if this is like cheaper bundles of hair, I don't want to say cheap bundles of hair, but because you use what you can afford, but make sure that bearded side is laying flat down on the cap and not upwards. Because you don't want those little beards peeking and then it's going to look like you have all these flyaways throughout your wig and you don't want that. So just make sure you have the bearded side down. And that's the first pack here. It looks nice and full already, and we're not even halfway done with this wig. There's the 18 inch bundle already placed in, and you just continue the same thing up until you reach to almost the crown of the head. You want to make sure you're going in the same direction. I love this one. still have three more bundles to work with. So this is the 16 inch and I'm just showing you where I marked off where I want my part to be because I do not have a closure for this unit. So I'll be closing up myself with this 14 inch bundle and I'll show you how. So first, this dome cap is so helpful because I just use those lines and create a nice little horseshoe around where I want my part to be and where I'm going to be closing it up. So at this part, I'm just putting glue halfway through the track because I don't want it to get on the hair and I want to make sure that I'm putting it properly in place. Counting. 
just plucking off any access glue as well. Access. Alright, and now this is where I'm going to fill in the side of where the horseshoe is. You just want to make sure that you measure all in blue, just like you did with the back. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you go through this twice with the other side of the hair. I'm just showing you this side. Just so you can catch it, just in case you didn't catch it the first time, of how I measure out and then cut and glue. And if you haven't already, this is a great time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. Measuring it off, cutting angle. It's really repetitive, so. Now this next track that I'm going to be laying is going to be the final track for this side. Because I don't want to put another track on after that and it be too close to the top of that other track it because it'll create a nice little bulk and you don't want that so this is going to be the final track that i'm laying on this side here Alright, now I'm going to comb it over and show you the difference between the two sides here. Now here is where I'm closing it up. I started from the bottom portion of, well, the front portion of the cap. And I measured from the middle portion of where I'm going to have the part and then to the other end of that track. And I just measure off and cut. I'm hoping I'm making sense. And there you go. See how it's just enough glue? It's not too much glue on that track because you don't want it to seep down into the hair. And you want to lightly place it and then put pressure with your thumbs and hold for 30 seconds. You're just repeating this step on both sides of the porch of the part. On both sides of the part. And you're gonna work your way up until you get to the top of where you want your part to be in your wig. Because then I'm gonna show you how you're gonna close it up at the top. have a nice little eye shaped portion at the top and I just made this closure by taking my leftover tracks and folding it over with glue and then I parted it with the right tail comb. If you want a more in-depth video on how I made that closure just leave a comment below. So you're gonna let that loose you didn't see it here because it's fast forward it through the video but I let that portion of glue stick for a little bit because I wanted it to become tacky so that the closure would adhere to it better. And so here I held it down a little extra than 30 seconds. And I have my blow dryer and I'm just going to use the cool setting and make sure that it's nice and in place and that it's dry so that when I go on to the next portion it doesn't slip. 
or look tacky or discombobulated. So now I'm just sectioning the hair, making sure I'm parting it. And see, that looks great. Now you wanna take your flat iron just to flatten it out just in case it's not flat enough to your liking. And remember, when you heat the glue up, it is gonna start moving again. So that's when I'm going to take the blow dryer again after this portion, you'll see. And remember, when you're blow drying it, you want to use the cool setting. If you use the hot setting, it's gonna melt the glue on your wig, tracks are gonna start sliding, and things are gonna become a mess. And that's not key. That's not where we're going. So make sure your blow dryer is on the cool setting. And that's it, ladies. You've just done it. You've made your own wig. Now it's time to go stunting on them, ladies. Hey. So this is it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell your friends. All right. Be blessed, you guys.